Check this out, guys. Premium sushi rolls, nigiri, carpaccio. It truly is sushi time in Vegas. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Steve from Rockstar Eater coming to you with another rockin' episode. And I am out here once again in Las Vegas in Chinatown because I'm gonna be checking out one of the most popular sushi restaurants in town. I am here at Sushi Time. This is an all-you-can-eat sushi restaurant. And let me tell you, all-you-can-eat sushi is pretty popular in Las Vegas. There are many great places that you can go to, but I heard that this one is a very good spot. So this is the video you must stick all the way to the end of, especially if you wanna see one of the most reasonably priced, high quality, all you can eat sushis that you can find in Las Vegas. And also if you're new to this channel, take a moment right now to hit that subscribe button, as well as the notification bell because I post these food and travel videos weekly you don't wanna miss out on. So go ahead, do that right now. And in the meantime, I'm gonna be heading into this restaurant and gonna be doing all you can eat for lunch. Here we go. Well, this is pretty cool. It's a very fun place to be, it looks like. It kind of has a tiki bar type of feel. They have a big selection of nigiri, sashimi, rolls, and they also have a separate a la carte menu that has items that you're not gonna find in too many all-you-can-eat sushi restaurants, and even if you do, it's pretty expensive, but it looks very reasonably priced here. So I should note that even though I'm here for lunchtime and it says $24.95, as of next week, this is going to go up to $25.95 and then the all-day price will be $31.95. And I wanna add that this is a very popular late night spot. Perfect time, I guess, to have this. Well, starting off with some appetizers, decided to get takoyaki, popular Japanese street food. I love it. Shrimp tempura to add the crunch to the all softness of the sushi. Now, here's a very interesting one. This is actually part of the all you can eat. This is their Karbi short rib special. I didn't get too much because I don't want to fill up on it, but I heard it's super popular here. And also the baked mussels, which is a timeless appetizer in all you can eat sushi restaurants. Big mussels, always very tasty. I love the flavor of that mayo that's on it. Mm, it's kind of sweet too. I think this is the first time in a while I've had takoyaki in a uh, sushi restaurant, all you can eat. Mm-hmm, mm, that's really good too. I think I'm more into the takoyaki that's deep fried. It's not a traditional way to make it, but still, I mean, any takoyaki is good for me. Uh, short ribs, but this is the first time I've seen it offered as part of the all-you-can-eat menu. That's pretty top-notch. Mmm, okay. Very tender, it's sweet. If for some reason you don't really want to eat as much sushi, but you want to balance it with beef, it's it's pretty safe. It's, it's good. Yeah, you should definitely get it. Here we go with the nigiri uh, on top. This is not part of the all you can eat, it's part of the a la carte, but it just shows what high quality fish you can get if you're willing to pay separately. The one to the left is kampachi, and to the right is toro. Doesn't that toro look so crazy? Look at the color. And then down here we have Cajun albacore, garlic, tuna, and that's the super white tuna. I've never heard of that before. That's interesting. Yuzu salmon, and yuzu yellowtail, yes, I like anything yuzu. And the great thing about this restaurant is that it's in a huge shopping center with a lot of free parking. So no matter what time of day you come, you're gonna get some awesome parking here. Mmm. I know you're paying a little extra, but if you're willing to pay for it, it's, you're gonna get some quality stuff. But then this Toro, just by the way it looks, I already know this is gonna be pretty good. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Very melt in your mouth. So it's up to you. If you're content with the rolls and the standard nigiri, by all means, go for it. I got a lot of that, actually. But if you want to try some of their special a la carte items, which they don't have in too many all-you-can-eats, yeah, you should definitely try it. That seared albacore looks pretty crazy. And it looks like with some of these nigiri, they already have 
some sort of sauce on top, so you don't really have to dip it in soy sauce, I guess. Crispy onions on top, which is always pretty good. Mm, very tasty. I don't remember if I've ever had this one before. This one is gonna be like a new discovery to me. Mm, oh, it's good. Doesn't even taste like tuna. I mean, it's not exactly like a yellow tail either, but you should definitely try it just for the sake of trying something different. I mean, it's not as elevated as that Kaiseki restaurant I went a few days ago, but still for all you can eat for $30, definitely hits the spot. Yuzu salmon tastes just like regular salmon, but with that yuzu flavor, which is so good. Yellowtail is one of those things that I feel you always have to get, like a top five item at sushi restaurants. And here are the rolls. And what's really interesting about the rolls here is that you can order half so you don't have to get full off of eating the whole thing, which is very considerate. To the left is called something 69. That's very interesting. You're gonna find a lot of these types of rolls. This is a shrimp tempura, soft shell crab, tuna, whitefish, salmon. And that one to the right, let's see, is the um, taste my girlfriend or ex-girlfriend. Shrimp tempura, cucumber, avocado, spicy crab, scallop. Oh, a lot of good stuff. And this one is a popular one from the baked roll section, baked lobster roll. Once again, half order. Crab, avocado, baked lobster, uh, crunch, and eel sauce. Me personally, I'm more of a sashimi and nigiri type of person, but since I'm at an all you can eat, I mean, it's like you, you just have to get the rolls. That's really the only occasion that I eat this. That's like a mouthful. Yeah, there's shrimp tempura and there's soft shell crab in there. This one looks pretty interesting. Taste my ex-girlfriend. I don't know, how do they come up with these names? It's so creative. I guarantee you, you'll never find it anywhere in Japan. Yep, so that one is filled with a lot of crab too, especially on top. And there is uh, shrimp tempura in this one. You know, after a while, I kind of can't really distinguish the flavor of some of these rolls because even the taste my ex-girlfriend was, it tasted very similar to the Something Wrong 69. I mean, there's some differences, but you know, I'm just eating it and just enjoying it. This one's very tasty. All that baked lobster with the eel sauce and the rice. I think this one probably is my favorite of the three rolls. This one I think is most my type. With the $31.95, you get one piece of raw oyster, but you can upgrade from the a la carte menu. You get a half dozen oysters for $18. You get all this beautifully presented. Mmm. Wow, that's fresh. Yeah, that is as fresh as it gets. So clean tasting, and the uh, sauce that they put in, I think it might be like a ponzu sauce. It's so bright when you eat this. And like I said, if you pay the all day price, you get one of these. So it's limit one per customer. But if you want to get more, I believe it's $1.50 extra. You can order the half dozen, you can order the uh, full dozen, but this is definitely worth ordering here. It's very good. And you surely need to get your carpaccio here. That one is the albacore. And this one is the salmon. Also got some unagi freshwater eel, always a must get for me. Some octopus, that is ikaro, which is salmon egg, and that is scallop. How about we start off with that seared uh, albacore? Anytime you add the crispy onions on top, I'm always gonna like. Man, this salmon carpaccio, look how creamy it is, wow. That one's pretty interesting. Salmon, but then it has like a citrusy type of creamy sauce over it. I am not a competitive eater, so when I go to these buffets and all you can eats, 
Even me, I have a limit. So I think I might be done after round number one, but not before I had my freshwater eel, uh-huh. Anything eel with that eel sauce, it's like, I'm always gonna get it. I like the addition of the lemon wedge on top, giving it that sourness, really nice. And then salmon egg is one of those things that you should always order because usually when you go to an a la carte sushi restaurant, it's pretty pricey, so I think you should get it here. Very pleasant tasting, not too salty, so this is pretty good. And this scallop looks like they kind of cut it into small pieces in here. Mm, it's good. That one has good flavor, actually. But overall, having a very fun time here. And I'm gonna end off with this. This is their tonkotsu ramen. Yes, apparently they have ramen on the menu and I heard that this is something you must try here. That broth is very soothing. It's tasty. I mean, I wouldn't say it's as rich as some of the other tonkotsu that, that I've had. But then again, those are ramen restaurants. They specialize in that. So no comparison, but still this broth, wow, it's good flavor. Oh man. But then the noodles is really where it's at as well. So Okay. I know this is not a ramen restaurant, but you should definitely try this here. Yeah, those noodles are so pleasant too. Oh really? And I think it's so appropriate that I'm eating this all the way at the end because usually in Japanese like course meals, when you get rice or noodles at the end, that means you're pretty much done with your meal. So if you are here in this area, come by, enjoy this meal. And also if you mention to the staff that you saw Rockstar Eater, they're willing to basically give you a free hot or cold sake. If you don't drink alcohol, they're willing to hook you up with a free soda. So yeah, let that be only one of the reasons why you come to this rockin' sushi restaurant in Chinatown. Anyways, thank you so much for watching, guys. You know what to do. Give me a like, give me a subscribe because more of these Vegas food videos are coming out and I'll see you all in the next food adventure.